Let us pray. O oh God, in creating the human race, will that man and wife should be one. Join, we pray, in a bond of inseparable love, these servants who are to be united in the covenant of marriage, so that as you make their love fruitful, they may become, by your grace, witnesses to charity itself. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. I knelt at the grotto when I was single and prayed that we would find each other, whether this man was here at Notre Dame or waiting for me after. And it would be at the Lord's perfect time, no matter how long I had to wait. And you, there you were, always just around the corner, this incredible man that the Lord has been preparing for my heart. We met at the perfect time. We met at a place we both love and love so much because of the truly palpable sense of God's presence in this place, a presence that I continue to feel daily because of you. The love you have given me, Tommy, is the love I have longed for my whole life and one that so closely resembles God's love for me. We have been waiting for years for this holy day, and I cannot describe my deep excitement in finally being able to make this covenant with you. All of this to say that I am ready to be your husband. I am ready to become one, as the Father is in the Son, and the Son is in the Father, whatever that may take us in life. I cannot fathom what God has in store for us next, but I know that the privilege of accompanying you through life and the opportunity to love you as God does will see me through it all. Allison, I am yours, totally and fully. I love you beyond words, and I cannot wait to become your husband today. <laughs> That's beautiful. <laughs> Every younger sister can only hope for an older role model to lead by example, to be a steadfast support, <laughs> to be a source of laughter when you feel like crying, and to be your built-in cheerleader. Allison is all of these things and more, and I can't express the overflowing pride I feel to be a younger sister. <laughs> Next paper. <laughs> <laughs> It is for all of these reasons that I have the utmost confidence and hope in Allison's future as a wife to Tommy, mother to their children, and a doctor to her patients. So uh, growing up, uh, me and Tommy have many similarities. Uh, we shared a room together, and uh, it was actually kind of cool because the house we're staying in right now, uh, we shared some bunk beds. and. Uh, this morning, I, I heard him hop off the top bunk, and he's like, he's like, good morning, you up? And I'm like, whoa. <laughs> I'm like, I haven't heard that in like, like 15 years at least. Um, I, I truly love my brother to death. I, I really do. And um, I know for a fact, Allison does too. Maybe even more than me, believe it or not, which is a lot. <laughs> Now to my little girl. Always gonna be my little girl. Allison is, anybody who knows her, is full of positivity, happiness, and energy from the day she was born. She's the answer to a lot of prayers, so, um, but really, Allison became the most joyful, the most energetic, and the most brilliant when she was being a big sister to Daniel and Caroline. There was nothing 
more exciting and more rewarding in her life than being a big sister. In fact, at one of her bridal showers, Tommy was asked, what do you think Allison is most proud of? And without a hesitation, Tommy said, being a big sister. day, senior year, she calls us and says, I'm starting to see this guy. Senior year, his name is Tommy Emmett. And to say she was giddy or happy or a little excited is a gross understatement. To know that Allison's level of excitement, her positivity, her joy, her giddiness, when she told us about Tommy and every time she told us more and more about Tommy, we knew that that meant Tommy had to be an exceptionally special person because no one takes up Alice in a notch other than family. So that was a great day in our life. Allison met Tommy. Tommy was brave enough to not only ask her out, but then meet us. <laughs> Here today we celebrate true love, true love, the love that Tommy and Allison share. And it's a reflection of God's love. We know that that love is about more than a feeling, although feelings are involved. It, that is true love, is ultimately finally about self-gift. It's about self-gift. My friends, it's a great honor to present to you for the first time officially Tommy and Allison Emmett.
be carefree Yeah, live on a prayer Don't quit your daydream Sink or swim Dive right in Don't lose heart Cause you can start again You'll find your way There's no need to worry All of my new family and my new friends. Um, yeah, that deserves a clap right there. Absolutely. Um, cheers to all of you. Thank you for loving us and continuing to love us. So, thank you. <laughs> 